Hi guys and welcome to the next video of this entire series. In this particular video, I will be showing you how an administrator can manage junk email settings of a mailbox using PowerShell commands. A user can himself manage these settings from Outlook client. However, an admin can also manage junk email settings for user accounts using PowerShell commands. Under junk email settings, a user can specify email addresses or the domains. He can allow or block the email addresses or external domains. If you want to check the configuration of junk email settings for a particular user, then command is get hyphen mailbox, junk email configuration hyphen identity, and type pipe fl. Press enter. And by running this command, you can check the configuration of junk email settings for a particular user. Enabled will tell you if this particular setting is enabled or not. Under trusted senders and domains, you can add the email address or the domains of the sender so that you can allow them within your junk settings. If you want to block certain sender or domain, you can add those email addresses or domains under this attribute. Let's assume that you want to block a particular sender email address. So you can add that particular email address within the block list. And the command will be set hyphen mailbox, junk email configuration, hyphen identity. Here we will use switch block sender and domains. So here we will add the external email address. And then you can press enter. If you want to add multiple email addresses, then you need to add comma. And here you will mention the second email address. Like this and press enter. So this way you can add the email addresses of external senders within your block list. Users can make these changes from Outlook client, but an admin can also manage these settings from PowerShell for users. If you want to verify the changes, you can run get hyphen mailbox junk email configuration hyphen identity and pipe FL. Here we can see these two email addresses has been added under blocked sender domains list. Same way, if you want to allow a particular sender or you want to allow a domain, for that you can run set hyphen mailbox, junk email configuration hyphen identity. And here we will use switch trusted senders and domains. For example, if you want to add the domain, then you can add them this way. For example, gmail.com. yahoo.com and then press enter so this way you can add the domains in allow list as well let's assume that your requirement is that this particular user user b should be able to receive emails only from the sender email address or the domains which are added under trusted senders and domains section so for that, you need to modify one attribute, which is trusted list only. If you will set trusted list only attribute to true, that means this user will receive emails only from these particular domains or from the email addresses that are added under trusted senders and domains. If you want to modify this attribute, then you can run set hyphen mailbox, junk email configuration, hyphen identity and then we will use switch trusted list only dollar two so now this user will receive emails only from gmail.com and from yahoo.com or the email addresses and domains which are added under trusted senders and domains section so if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel and please share this channel within your community. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time.
Take care.